I was towed by Advanced Towing in Arlington, Virginia on April 19, 2016. When I picked up the car the next day, the bumper was damaged and Advanced Towing presented a photograph that they claimed was proof that the damage was already there. This video will present the following evidence. First of all, the bumper of my car was damaged the night of the tow in that parking lot. Second, not only could I have not caused the damage, the tow truck driver negligently caused the damage by not checking that the bumper was free of obstruction. And finally, advanced towing has used fraud and deceit to avoid paying for that damage that they caused. Here's some photos of the damage. Uh, you can see in the left photo that the front bumper has been ripped forward with the plastic rivets missing. And you can also see from underneath that the bumper is torn outward at that single point. The damage is perfectly consistent with uh, the curb height, the plastic on the rebar, and even these uh, popped rivets all over the spot. You can see we've got a couple of popped rivets here and the ripped piece of bumper matches up perfectly with this piece of rebar. Notice the plastic all over the rebar and the curb as well. So now that we've seen proof that this piece of rebar tore the bumper off, I'll show you this video that proves that I could not have caused this damage when I parked the car. Uh, this video was taken before I had the damaged bumper repaired, and despite the fact that the, the bumper has been torn downwards in a way, you can still see that when the car is in park and in reverse, the bumper still passes freely over the curb and the rebar. The only way this car could have sustained the damage that I just showed you is if the car was in park, the back end lifted, and the car dragged over the rebar. Uh, you'd also notice in that video that it would have been fairly visible to a professional tow truck driver uh, if he had conducted any inspection of any obstructions before recklessly dragging the car over this curb. Now that you've seen the evidence that the car was damaged in this spot and by the tow truck driver, let's move on to my third claim of deceit and fraud. At least two pictures were taken at the time of the tow, as dictated by Arlington Code. However, instead of providing me with a copy of both of those pictures, which is also required by Arlington Code, I instead have these pictures. As you can see, they are cell phone pictures taken of a computer screen and not the original photos. Here's my attempt to demonstrate what's missing in the second photograph. Um, both of these pictures are just part of the photograph taken at the time of the tow. Uh, you can see that by the um, timestamps on the left side and how they're just a tiny portion of the picture taken. Uh, on the right side, I tried to put them in perspective of what the actual original picture would have looked like had the contents of the picture not been obfuscated. Let's consider the first photograph taken at 8.42 p.m. Uh, this picture shows the car fully pulled into the parking spot with the front bumper over the curb and the rebar. While we can't really see the curb in this shot, we can see that the car is fully pulled into the parking spot with the back bumper fully within the parking lines. Uh, that's what we've got circled in the orange here. Um, you can see the back bumper fits within those parking lines. The first video shows this effect. Uh, when the front bumper is pulled over the curb, uh, the back bumper fits completely within those lines, and this most closely mirrors the photograph on the left. The second video shows why the car couldn't have already been further back, since if the car was further back away from the curb, the rear bumper would protrude past the ends of the parking lines. So as you'll notice, the uh, example on the top more closely matches the end result, with the front bumper pulled over the curb and the back bumper fitting comfortably within the lines of the parking space. So now we've demonstrated that at 8.42 p.m. the car was parked fully over the curb. Uh, next we have this picture that advanced towing claims is proof that the damage was already there when they started the tow. Notice anything strange about this picture? First of all, you see that the car is now moved. Um, it's no longer uh, parked with the front bumper over the curb. Second, you'll notice from the timestamp that three minutes have gone by in between these two pictures. What happened in those three minutes? As you can see in the videos on the last slide, it took me about six seconds to walk from the front of the car to the back. So we can't assume that the driver spent those three minutes inspecting the car for damage. Instead, the only plausible explanation is that the driver started the tow, heard the bumper get ripped off, and jumped out to grab this second picture to avoid accepting responsibility. 
And for those of you who say there's no way the driver could have done all that in that time period, take a look at this video. Uh, within 16 seconds, this car is lifted up and in motion, and the car is gone within 30 seconds. So there you have it. Um, I've shown you that the damage had to have been caused on that piece of rebar that night. I've shown you that I couldn't have caused the damage myself, and that it must have been caused by the tow truck driver lifting the rear end of the car. And finally, accepting that evidence, I've shown you that the driver took one picture like he's supposed to, started towing the car, and jumped out of his truck to take a second picture when he heard the damage that he caused. Rather than admitting this negligence and offering to repair the car, Advanced Towing refused to even acknowledge any of this evidence, and instead has made the fraudulent and deceitful claims that the damage already existed. Of course, this is illegal. And I'm using this video as evidence of my complaint with the Division of Consumer Counsel of the Office of the Attorney General. Given this company has had a history of complaints and unsavory practices, I hope this office is able to take the appropriate action to recover damages for me and prevent others from being victimized in the same way. Thank you.